channel guys i hope you are as, as heckin happy as i am i'm super excited to for our next installment of dot hack gu let's go ahead and get started with it we have so much that we've already uncovered with the game we lost all of our powers we don't know what ovon is up to we have to figure out what's going on with that we have to uh, level up and and go with that we have this mysterious power growing inside of us what is that all about but let's see how far we can get today and see what in the world is going on in dot hack let's get started and what's cool is they have these things called like news captures in the game and you can look at some of the cool stuff that they have and some of the stuff can give you lots of great things about what actually happens on in the world so like this online jack welcome to online jack the no holds barred information program that brings you the hottest topics when star reporter salvador ayahara will bring you the dirt you want to know. And here's this week's target doll syndrome. This is Salvador Ihara's Online Jack. We investigate the hottest controversies in today's news. The in-your-face, hard-hitting show. Welcome to Online Jack. Okay, get ready, all you netizens out there. Today's Jack target is doll syndrome. Have you heard of it? It's the mystery illness that's spreading like wildfire among grade schoolers. It causes verbal and mental defects that leave victims non-responsive. That's right, this disease turns children into lifeless dolls, oh no! But we'll fight back. To combat this earth-shattering crisis, we at Online Jack started an investigation. I, Salvador Ihara, will save the world! Like it's called doll syndrome a truly mysterious illness some mm. scientists tell us the cause is endocrine disrupting chemicals but what i want to showcase here is this book internet dun, games dun, dun. are turning our kids into dolls a warning about doll syndrome taichiro sugai a professor from takeuma university wrote the book and lives here according to his book doll syndrome's root cause is none other than online games Online games, <laughs> famous games such as the world, perhaps. I love them too, but he says that online games and their more than 12 million participants all living out their virtual dreams are the cause. You'll oh, remember no. that several years ago, the world game was found to be responsible for players being put into a coma. Could it Ooh. be that it's also causing the dreaded doll syndrome? Are these mm. online games nothing but a blight upon our society? If the professor feels that way, then let's see what he has to say. Let dun, us begin dun, dun. the interview. What do you want? You know how late it is. Hey there, I'm the host of Online Jack, Salvador Ihara. I have a few questions about your book, Online Games Are Turning Our Kids Into Dolls, A Warning About Doll Syndrome. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> ah, can you believe this guy? Open up, Professor Sugai. We want to talk to you. You've just come to make fun of my book, haven't you? Get away from here! If you don't explain yourself on camera, sir, you'll make yourself look even more suspicious. I don't have to explain myself. All I did was publish the results of my own independent research. Ha, you say independent research. But isn't it true that your sources themselves are questionable? Not as questionable as you! Well then, prove to us that your sources are credible! If you do, we won't bother you anymore, Professor. Oh! oh. Give me a break. Who would believe you? And another thing, I'm an associate professor. Okay. Well, we were turned down by associate professor Sugai, but to follow our own independent research, we went undercover into the very elementary school that Sugai was investigating. This is the elementary school where associate professor Sugai was conducting his study on doll syndrome. Is a killer disease stalking the children of this ordinary elementary school? Let's take a look. Hmm. Hey there, boys and girls. There's no need to fear. Salvador Ihara is here. Who oh, are you? We're in the middle of class. Oh, what is this vision of loveliness that graces our presence? Hello, Senorita. What? You and I can save the world together. Viva Salvador! Oh, my God. Oh, are you crazy? 
Here we are in the teacher's lounge. I haven't been to one of these since the days when I used to peep under girls' skirts. If you want to film in here, you need to get permission first. But the whole purpose of the show is it's undercover. You entertainment people have no decency. You're so beautiful when you're angry. Stop that. What are you investigating? Doll syndrome. Miss Michiru Tajima, teacher of fourth grade class <gasps> one. Lay gas! Isn't that so cute? And they have things like that in the game, and I just, I love it. I love it so much. They, they have, it's literally supposed to be like a game. So R2 breaks the, the 12 million mark. And they talk about the fact that, you know, these are like news articles that they would have in the game, in the, in the real world. Right? They have stuff like, look, the new space station nearing completion. With the participation of Japan and many other countries, the International Space Station, slated for completion in 2017, is nearly done. As large as a soccer stadium, this fully manned facility will be used for various types of research in a deep space environment. And I just think that's so cool. But they have stuff like this, and I just think that's so cool. They even have things like, you know, nation unified on citizen numbering system. Like, what in the world? The Online Administration Act received a majority vote of the ruling party, meaning the adoption of the citizen numbering system seems to be inevitable. Running us all into numbers. As a result, the process of converting to an electronic government has overcome its final hurdle. That seems like really worrisome. Games to blame for juvenile de delinquency. I'm a hero. These are the words written on a sketchbook found in a young boy's school bag. The recent outbreak of juvenile delinquency is said to be the effect of video games, according to experts. Games have been far better. Far, games have far better graphics compared to novels and comics, and games are interactive. It is easy for children to see themselves as the, as the protagonist of their favorite game. This is a dangerous phenomenon. For example, what would happen if a children were to play an extreme action game and began to believe that he was the game's main character? He could possibly act in real life the same way he could in the game. It frightens me just thinking about the consequences of that. There are several cases of parents, both game influenced as assailants and their victims suing game companies claiming they are responsible for making their children into criminals or are somehow responsible for their child's death. However, the game companies respond by saying, we have implemented a perfectly good rating system for our games and no one is allowed to buy them without proper identification. Perhaps the ones who are truly to blame are the parents who allow their children to buy such games. A friend of one of the victims had this to say, you can't just blame the problem on one thing. It's more complex than that. Everyone involved has to share the blame. Game makers, parents, and even myself are no exception. We should all realize this and stop this pointless arguing. After all, it's not like arguing will help bring back what was lost. Oh my goodness. And isn't that just crazy? They even have these uh, community forums <clears throat> where like people, you know, all over like the interweb can go and talk. And these are great things to go into so we can, you know, the exo uh, <clears throat> existence of the PK system and they talk about the fact that there's PKing in the game. You know, they talk about like ohm shelves and where in the world can you find an ohm shell? And they talk like that. You can even get, you know, look at that Delta buzzing grass puddle. And so it's always really, really good to check out what's here. Personally speaking, in my spare time, I actually like to read all of this stuff. I know it might be actually really weird to some people. I miss R1. R1 was such a good portion of the game. But they have all of these, and it's just it's so great. I love it. I really do. I love it so much. And ooh, we should check out the rumors. The rumors is always a good place to find. But I won't bore us all with that, so I'll just come and ooh, look at this. 
the mystery of the world. I tried collecting up the latest rumors. If you're interested, here they are. Number one, the little girl in the hall. Number two, turning fork. Number three, try edge. The little girl in the hall. If you go to the Hull's Grand Cathedral at 12 a.m. exactly, you will hear a girl crying. Those who hear this girl will fall into a coma after a week. But apparently if you talk to five people within the week about your experience, you'll be spared from the coma. Also, these rumors say that a girl wearing something like a white nightgown will sometimes appear before your very eyes. Turning fork. If you hear a sound like a tuning fork in, your, in an area, you will fall into a coma. Of course, if this were true, I doubt anyone who heard the sound would be around to start the rumor. And then we have Tri-Edge. People who come across a triple-clawed twin blade in the game, of course, fall into a coma in real life. These people also gain a triangular-shaped wound while in the coma, which is full of coma, co coma, coma, I keep saying coma, coma, oh my gosh, rumors lately. I've heard stories along those lines, it's pretty scary. And then we have this area, which is honestly my favorite. So people in the game go through here and they create like fan arts of different things. Like look at this. Some, And I think these were actually created by like people, like actual fans. And I think they just posted them here. But I don't know that for a fact though. So please don't quote me on that. But that's like always been a thought of mine. Like did this actually, like, was this a thing? Then we have this one. Look at that! My name is Masaru from Kyoto. I'm a student right now. I study English, so I log into the US server. I enjoy uh, make many American friends. And I just, I love it so much. A refreshing breeze. I really wish I would have found out like exactly where these these fan arts came from. A beautiful friendship. Look, another one of Haseo. Oh my gosh, that's super creepy. That looks like Slender Man. Oh my gosh, look at him. Chim soccer. Whoopsie, I had forgot to get the last one. Oh look at that, that's so cute. I love it. Oh, I missed one? I was going through so fast. Oh wow, I love that one too. Okay. okay. Go ahead and log into the world. Let's get in. We're gonna log in. Eternal Delta Eternal City Mac Anew. Memoir records, records your past actions and contains clues to your next objective. Select Memoir from the main menu when you are unsure or unclear about your next objective. Nice. Let's go ahead and take a second and just save the game. Always save. If there's anything I've learned as a gamer is to always save your games. But what are we supposed to be doing? Let's check the Memoir. Let's see. We can you can view your current objective and what you have done so far. Open this menu when you do not know what you should do next. So we're gonna go and hang out with Syllabus and Gaspard. We need to form a party and go to the quest shop. So let's oops, let's go ahead and get Syllabus. Thanks for inviting me. Just give me two seconds and I'll be right there. And Gaspard. 
Yay, I get to adventure with a sale. I'll be right there. Wait for me. Awesome. Let's go to the quest shop now. Okay. Our main objective. Our main, 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 main objective to level up. Ugh, but look at the city. I mean, look at that. Ugh. You know, that is something I wish they had in the game when they did the expand, like, when they revamped it. If, just to give us the ability to take screen, if, you know, to, to, to just take good shots. Look at it, it's so beautiful. Let's head over here. And head on up here to the quest shop. Welcome, this is the quest shop. Pick the king, chim chim, and catch the crown. Summary, suggest a PC level five. I want someone to get the chim crown for me. This is by the client, Dr. Kubo, and our, our reward will be a text of wisdom. We need to have three people participating. There's three of us. Let's go. Yes, we will accept this quest. Accepted the quest request. You can view the request from the main menu. We're going to have to go to Delta Chasing Cupid's Phantom. So you'll be taking this quest. Please wait just a moment. Hello, this is the quest shop. Thank you for your patronage. We have some adventurers here who have accepted your quest. <laughs> My name is Kubo, Dr. Kubo, that is. My research relates to Chim Chims. What? What kind of research? Well, now that's a secret. I can't tell you that. Anyway, I want you to achieve the Chim crown for me. Have you ever met King Chim Chim? He is a giant Chim Chim that rarely appears. As his name implies, he has a magnificent crown on his head. I want that crown. I have a few ideas on where King Chim Chim is likely to show up. I want you to go there and get the Chim crown. I've prepared plenty of rewards for you, so do your best. It's pretty difficult to kick the king. King Chim Chim? Isn't that the huge one? Ooh, I do you think we could do it? I think we could do it. We've got this, guys. Let's go ahead and ooh, there we go. Do we have anything for you? Probably not. Let's go ahead and head on out of here. mission here. Yes. I guess we should start looking for places where King Chim Chim could be hiding. King Chim Chim attacks by jumping on you, so watch out. I wonder where he is. I don't know. I don't know. Look at this. Just take oh. Look at that, that's so amazing. I love, oh my gosh. I'm sorry, I'm just in love with this game. Okay, let's go. Idle wave. Health drink. Let's head on over. We should have like 50, 40. Victory is ours!
got a health drink. Another steam door. Where are you leading? Nothing in this room. More items. I'm so nervous. Don't be nervous, Gaspard. Don't be nervous. Got 3 GP too. We got a health drink. Let's head back this way. We better be careful. You are absolutely right, Silas. We better be careful. We're gonna head this way. But there's another door. We're gonna have to get more Tim Tims. And this seems like a great spot for it. Come, come, Chim Chims. Come, come. Oh, they're so cute. Let's head on over here. Ooh. What's that? What is that? It's a new way, Haseo. It's a new way. We've got to kick it, huh? Um, Haseo, King Chimchim Chim will show up if you kick the new way. What? So, we just need to kick it. Let's kick it. A lucky animal. This is the mysterious animal known as a lucky animal that lives in this area. Approach and kick it to receive various blessings. However, there are also unlucky animals that bring bad luck. They have the angry symbol on top of their heads. No problem. Leave it to me. Come on, King! <laughs> receive a blessing from the lucky animal. Summon King Chim Chim! This is King Chim Chim. If you kick King Chim Chim, he will get angry and attack you. Repeatedly kick him and evade his attacks to defeat him. If you do, he will, you will receive massive amounts of Chim Spears. About time. <laughs> Let's get it over with. Hand that over. <clears throat> Give me your crown. There's something on the ground. We got the chimp crown. I knew you could do it. Phew, I thought we were gonna turn into pancakes. Oh no. <sighs> we need to go to the quest shop. Yes. Quest complete, report back to the quest shop. First word, elegant. Oh my goodness. Oh, you're back already. That was fast. Hand it over, Chim Crown. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is the Chim Crown already. I'm surprised you were able to retrieve it so quickly. <laughs> How would you feel about doing some work on the side for me? There's something I want you to help me with. My home is in the mercenary district. It doesn't matter when, but please come visit. We'll discuss the details when you do. Farewell. Okay. Quest completed. Job well done. And we got a text of wisdom. Can we accept another one? No, that's it. Let's go talk to him. Oh, and then we'll log out and we'll check our, our, our email. I think you said the mercenary district, which is over here. Let's 
let's head on over. Is this him? No, I don't think so. Let's talk to Powell's. There is his house. Uh, first enemy. Over there. I was on the opposite side of the map. Let's see, he's over here. <laughs> I've been waiting for you to come and pay me a visit. I have some important work for you. What I have to say from this point on is top secret. You mustn't speak of it to anyone. Do you understand? I'm working on a project to cultivate chimchims. Currently, there are no methods to cultivate chip spheres, and thus they must be collected in the wild. But if we can change that, it would be quite a revolution. However, in order to complete my project, I need detailed data on chip chimps. That's why, that's what I want you to do for me. Here, take this. We acquired the Chim Chimp Radar. It's a portable scanner that holds the essence of steam technology within it. Each time you kick a chim chim, the radar will automatically scan and record the data. It will also import all of the data that you've gathered in the past. Any chim chim data will suffice, but the more rare the chim chim, the more data you'll be able to obtain from it. I'll reward you based on how much data you've gathered. Oh, I almost forgot. As you know, I'm also looking for chim crowns. Chim crowns have the mysterious ability to generate far more chim spheres than a normal chim chim. It's absolutely essential that I get them in order to complete my project. If you can bring me any chip crowns, I will reward you handsomely. Well then, please do your best. And we have already we've already kicked 99 chims. We've kicked 70 chim chims, two rare chim chims, and one king chim chim. Not bad. Here, I'll give you this. We got a health scroll and we got an antidote scroll. I still don't have enough Chim Chim data, go collect some more. We have to kick 500 Chim Chims. Nice. Alright, let's go ahead and log out and check our email. Notice campaign. Dear Haseo, thank you, Haseo, thank you for your regular patronage of the world. This is to inform you that you can now participate in the King Chimp Kickers campaign. For details, please talk to the NPC client, Dr. Kubo. Dr. Kubo's house is in the is in Makanu's mercenary district. Adelie, since you insisted, I decided to email you. There's an area that I love, and I was wondering if you would like to join me. The area is Delta Submissive Tragedies 1000 Oaks. Sincerely, Adelie. To Lena. How, how have you been, Lena? Been doing all right? Things have been going terrible with my real life as usual. I know it's summer vacation for students right now, but how are you doing with preparation for entrance exams? You're in the science, right? That's amazing. For a literary major like myself, I just respect anyone that can do math. So how did your meeting with the guidance counselor go? Personally, I just chose my college because one of the professors here wrote one of my favorite books. This is something I haven't told either to him or my parents. So in a way, I did have a very specific goal when I came here. Of course, your major is going to be very different from mine, so I guess my opinion won't be much help. Sorry. Still, I don't think there are that many people at all who go to college with a specific goal in mind these days. I think it would be great to figure out what it is if you want to do, and what it is if you want to do during the four years you're there. In any case, I still don't know what I want to do even after turning the big 3-0. I was able to become a translator. While I was in college, I majored in Western and Celtic literature. You know, since the previous version of the world was built around a Celtic theme, even down to the music. So that's probably why I like this so much. It's too bad the current the world is pretty far removed from its origins based on Emma Willen's worldly perspective of the epitaph of Twilight. By the way, how's your brother doing? Did he finally give up on basketball and start studying for his entrance exams? A lot of people use the version upgrade as an opportunity to kick the habit. I don't know what happened to all these former dot hackers, but I'm sure they're doing alright. Hey, maybe some of them changed their characters and are still playing, lol. 
Right now I'm stuck in the house every day working on a translation of an overseas mystery novel. Things are the same with her as they've always been. We're as indifferent towards each other as ever. Sorry, I'll stop talking about her. Once I get started, the complaints will never stop. Okay, take care, Lena. Give my best to your brother, too. If you ever come to college here in Tokyo, let's be sure to meet up. Fukotu. Well done, Black Rose. Well, have you calmed down a bit since then? I feel like I've managed to get back to my life. I do feel kind of lonely at not being able to, to log in to the world. Uh, though, but since I refuse to let Kazu play online games, I can't justify playing them myself. Are you playing together with Orca, or was Orca banned just like Kazu? Back then, I didn't have any ideas as to what was going on. I was just plowing ahead, doing whatever was set before me to do. I'm so glad we managed to resolve it. So here's why I'm emailing. I wanted to say this when we had the, that offline party, but I wasn't able to work up the courage. I'm glad I got to know you. Sure, it was a surprise when I found out you were younger than me. And when I saw you acting so insecure, I may have yelled at you a bit. But if it wasn't for you, I think I never would have been able to help Kazu. If I had tried to help him all by myself, I might have ended up just like he did. I think it was because you were there that I was able to go as far as I did. I think it was because you were there that I was able to make it in, make it to the end. So let me say this back to you now. If you hadn't been there, I could never have done it. Thank you. I think I might be in love with you. Psych! <laughs> I might still log in from time to time. If I do, I hope you and I can have a nice, normal adventure together. And I'm not going to tell you who those people are. I'm sorry. I will tell you about them at a later date. But to all of my friends on YouTube, I know this was a super, super short stream. Um, but I do hope that you're going to be able to hang out with us next time when we play more of Dot Hack. I'm super excited to continue our gameplay. I know, like I said, I know this is a, such a super short stream, but not to worry. We'll get more into it the next time, I promise. I promise, I promise, I promise. But thank you for hanging out with me. Please like and comment if you enjoyed, and please subscribe if you would like to watch more of Ranicula Plays. Remember to stay safe, hydrate, and have a wonderful day. Bye now, guys. <laughs>